48 Hours has an exclusive interview with an Illinois man accused of murdering his estranged wife back in February. Now, this case you may remember because it made headlines because of a comment that he made on the game show Family Feud years earlier. Now, he maintains his innocence, and he's speaking out for the very first time to 48 Hours correspondent Aaron Moriarty. Here's an early look at Aaron's 48 Hours report. Tim Bleevnik was arrested and charged in March 2023 with murdering his estranged wife, Becky Bleevnik. The nurse and mother of three was found shot multiple times in her Quincy, Illinois home. After the arrest, an answer he gave on the game show Family Feud years earlier got people talking. The question was, what is the number one regret that people have from their wedding day? And you said? I said, uh, saying I do. It was supposed to be funny. Prosecutors Josh Jones and Laura Keck say it wasn't the game show. It was other evidence that led them to Tim Bleefnick. The couple had been going through a contentious divorce, and Becky had told family and friends that she feared Tim might harm her. The idea of, of murdering someone, let alone the mother of my kids, is not any part of who I am. There was this surveillance video of a person riding a bike in the direction of Becky's house right before the murder and in the opposite direction right after. A person was also captured on video near her house about 24 hours before the crime. Prosecutors believe it's Tim Bleefnik, but there's one big problem. I mean, you can't see whether no. it's male, female. It's no, terrible. It's the terrible. video's terrible. That's not Tim in that video. You can't tell who it is. Casey Schnock is Tim Bleefnick's defense attorney. There were prowlers in the area. It wasn't a random prowler. It was an execution. Wow, Aaron. You know, that's Whoa. one of those stories. If you wow. think it's Tim, then that looks like Tim. If you don't, then you really can't tell. Who it's that. absolutely true. But isn't this a perfect example of what it means when they say your words come back to haunt you? Yes. Because even though that was not evidence at the trial, it made everybody pay attention. The this, game show answer. The game show but answer. But a lot of people answered that question yeah. that absolutely. way, didn't they? It was the second most popular like answer. Joke. And he said it was a joke. And when, you know, the prosecutors believe that the divorce was the issue mm. because she was killed one week before this divorce. And normally they don't, they don't go on trial, but this one was going to trial. Wow. Um, but he said, I'm the one who filed. Yeah. I wanted this divorce. But on the other hand, oh. he says it could be a prowler. The problem is she was shot 14 times. That's normally somebody that is really mad and at in you. In one minute. I yeah, can't even believe it could happen minutes. in one minute wow. and nothing was taken. So. That most oh. prowlers. It's normally someone wow. who knows you, too, if, if they were going to be that, wow. that violent. Mm. It was so jarring, though, in your piece to see this smiling picture of Steve Harvey in the middle of all this, but we see how that factors in to this story on Family Feud where he made the answer. And this is why this case has gotten so much attention. But, but he's in jail now. He's, he's, he's in prison. He's yeah. got life without parole. Um, but why do you want to talk, then? I think the main reason, because yeah. he hasn't been able to see his three sons uh. since he went. He was arrested. Realize this happened Ugh. this year. He's already been on trial because he got a speedy trial. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't seen the kids. And I think he really wanted to say that he didn't, he didn't do this. Do it. mm. It's a case, it's a case of the kids losing both parents. He right. did. That's right. the real tragedy. Which is the most yeah. unfortunate thing. Yes. Well, yeah. That's a very good tease for Saturday night. Thank yeah. you very much, Aaron Moriarty, as sad as it is. You can see Aaron's full report. It's called The Game Show and the Murder, tomorrow night at 10, 9 central, right here on CBS and on Paramount+. Plus.